Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News update. A stone man will face a judge today. He's accused of seriously injuring his 17-year-old girlfriend who was later found dead. Now, right now he's facing assault charges, but they could be upgraded today. Police were called to a home on Great Road in Stowe Friday. Officers say Shane Curry would not let them inside. When they did finally get in, they found Nevea Goddard dead. Police say Curry and Goddard lived in the home together. Public school teachers in Danvers and Chelsea set to rally today for paid parental leave. The teachers unions in both communities say educators and staff from across the North Shore are holding a week of action. They're demanding the leave for all education workers. This morning's rallies will be held before classes start at two schools in Chelsea and two others in Danvers. Hey, if you're heading north to watch today's solar eclipse, you are not alone. Look at this traffic on Route 89 heading into Vermont yesterday. Schools across the state, meantime, giving kids a way to see the eclipse during the school day. Some districts releasing them early. Others are holding their own viewing parties. All right, so what's it going to be like for the eclipse? Here's a check of your forecast with Jason Michael. Aha, that is the big question on this Monday, Chris. Good morning to you and good Monday morning, everybody. 20s and 30s outside, but beautiful conditions outside as well. The sky conditions are absolutely radiant. We'll have a lot of sunshine, also with some high clouds filtering back in later on today. So some of the 30s and 40s that you see quickly become the 50s and 60s just in time for the solar eclipse. 329 maximum eclipse totality for us here. As you can see, a 90% chance right here in Boston as the eclipse exit, you'll have a parcel eclipse roughly around 439 PM. But again, we'll likely land amongst the clouds there in the mid 60s here in Boston. But the allergen is also going to be running high both today and tomorrow and likely elevated just a wee bit for us on Wednesday. Clouds are going to thin overnight tonight. Temperatures also going to settle back into the upper 30s or perhaps even low 40s. But for the first pitch tomorrow at Fenway Park, Red Sox home opener for the season of 2024. Again, expecting mid 50s and by the time the last night it'll be roughly around 50 degrees or so. So tomorrow's day time highs again roughly around 60 degrees so with p.m. clouds developing there are rain chances Chris by the end of the week heading into the start of the weekend will still be mild though in the mid to upper 50s perhaps even mid to low 60s wow looks good thanks Jason I'm Chris Tanaka this has been a WBZ news update have a great day